Joe came to me and said he had this guy he knew named Leon, and there was money out of Malaysia to do an animated movie on War of the Worlds Goliath. You know, so you never really know what's real or what's not, but you put yourself out there. And um, this one got funded. You know, there are a lot of people who make a show like this happen. Gavin, um, our wonderful voice director, Joe, the, the, our director who was great, Luca, who did the music. The engine that pushes the train is Leon Tan, who is our producer. And I don't think that this movie would have happened without him. I know this movie wouldn't have happened without him. I think Kevin Eastman brings a store of history and a store of talent and a vision and an understanding of what the box of this movie is all about. I think he's been a spirit guide to this movie in many ways. Well, you put your ass in the chair and you write. That's what the writing process is. And you keep it there, and even when it's hard or, or even when the ideas don't come to you. And so I just sat down and started writing. And the ideas came, and it was, it was a great give and take, and it was um, a great joy. The process was, was relatively easy. Well, when we were talking about cast, um, I suggested um, some of the actors from Highlander. Adrian's a wonderful actor, and he can play other things other than the, the bad guy or the sexy, uh, damaged lead who saves the day at the end. And Elizabeth Grayson is just a wonderful actress with great timing who can play about anything. And there's Jim Burns, who is perfect as Teddy Roosevelt because he is Teddy Roosevelt. I thought, well, Adam Baldwin is, is um, a major character actor, and he brought a certain energy and joie de vivre and, and craziness to Wilson. I, I think it's an excellent movie, and I think it's going to play very well.